Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel, another episode of How To's and Reviews. And in today's episode, I am gonna show you guys how to mine Mint Me. I have been asked in emails, how do you mine Mint Me? Even within our own blockchain, some of our investors do not know. So hopefully this video will give everybody a chance to learn how to mine Mint Me, the easy way, the free way, um, minus the you know CPU power. But it's a way that you guys can get on this um, exchange and start um, interacting with your creator or making your own tokens. But the first thing we're going to have to do is that we have to go to a site called coinamp.com, which looks like this. Now, when you get there, take a look at this for the sake of the video. I am only going to talk about how we mine this, but I do have videos on my page discussing how and what you can do and how you can earn uh, the fees at a lesser price if you do certain things but for today we're only going to do how to mine this now before we start to mine anything we need to go and get a wallet address and in order to do that we have to go back to our mintme.com now I'm already logged in so if you don't have an account please make an account and please use your two-factor verification and then once you make that account go ahead and log in and then once you log in you're going to come up to your icon and then you want to hit wallet and then when you hit wallet, we want to go get our Mint Me um, coin wallet address, which is going to be this one right here. So we're going to click deposit here. We're going to get our deposit address. And then we're going to go back over to coinamp.com. And then once you're logged in, you're going to click over to your wallet address. And then we're going to copy that address that we just did from our Mint Me back into here and now we're going to hit save and now we are ready to go to our dashboard now and this is where it all happens now from here if you have an older computer let's say a 2013 Mac and up you are going to want to keep your threads between 8 and 10 if you are still using your computer because the higher you go on your threads it will lag your computer if you have a newer computer, then the highest you can go is 24, okay? And over here, you set it to 100%. Now, remember I said earlier that you could get help in your fees if you allow them to add one advertisement on your site per month for your visitors to look at. We do not do it, but if you wish to do that, they have a WordPress plugin for that. You can get the code for that, then go and plug it into your website. And then if you have other websites that you want to do, say like uh, like we have the Panther Network, and then you can just put a code here, generate a code, and it will give you this to put inside of your website. So when your visitors come, this is the they will show an advertisement on your site. But if you do do that, please go up here and take a look where it says CP usage. Take this down to 10% because you do not want your... Uh, viewers to have a bad experience okay and that's the way you can do that there's an easy to use and an AV friendly so check that out if you would like to do that we don't do it so that's all I'm going to say on that one there now once you have everything set up um, now if you have an old computer and that you're not using it and it, like it's just sitting in the corner go ahead and put it on 24 and then at that point we're just going to hit start and then once you hit start it's going to start loading the miner and then it's going to start giving you calculations as you see here, here, and then within 24 hours, it's going to go up higher, higher, higher. This will get higher and higher, higher based on your computer. Um, and that's about it. And then once you get to about 50, mint me, I'm going to say cash out at that time. All right. So now that we got this going on, so now we can leave from here and I'm just going to stop the mining right now. So then you just hit stop. And then once you get it, let's refresh this right quick. It should give us a little bit. See that? Just that quick. Just like that. All right. So there you have it. So now once that's up to 50, you want to go back up to your wallet over here. And then that that we just mine is right here. But you cannot cash out. And you do not want to cash out until you get to 50 because right here they deduct the network fee of 0 0.01 mint me. All right. So wait till they get to 50. Then you hit pay. Then you're done. Then you come over to your Mint Me um, wallet, and then it's going to show up right here, and then you're going to get a notification over here 
like that to say that it has been completed. And then at that point, you can just take it and go and support your creator. Or you can also put that in another wallet to hold, which is down here at the bottom where it says web wallet. Now, if you do not have a web wallet, this is the way to, to create one. Um, but remember, if you put your money in from CoinAmp to this wallet, it's going to cost you 0 0.01. And then when you move it from this wallet to the front, it's going to cost you another 0 0.01. So if you want to spend it, send it directly to the front. But if you want to hold it, put it in this back wallet here. And then, of course, you have to pay the fee eventually. But that's the way just to hold your money. All right. So other than that, guys, that's about it. That is how simple it is to my Mint Me. Take a look on my page. I do more in depth on Mint Me, on XM Rig, and everything else. If you like the page, you know what to do. All right, guys. Other than that, Panther out. One.